Hey everyone, Mary Q, we're back to the wonderful world of StarCraft, and let's go find out what the invasion of Iyer is going to look like. I bet Iyer is going to be a happy place full of chicken and balloons and then death. Yeah, we saw that. We saw that. We saw that. And we saw that. The invasion of Iyer! Why are they all leaving Iyer? I thought they'd be going towards it. My children, the hour of our victory is at hand. For upon this world of Iyer shall we incorporate the strongest known species into our fold. Then shall we be the greatest of creation's children. We shall be... Perfect. Ooh. Yet before I can be made manifest upon this world, the way must be prepared. You must seize the Kedaran crystals. For within them lies power undreamed of by the Kotas. Go now, my Cerebrate. Secure the crystals and bring swift wrath to all who oppose the swarm. Okay. Sure. I can do that. I'll get you all the crystals you need, buddy. Er. And then you're gonna be... The spooning pool. And of course, you know, we start out with cheating. Because, hey, once you start cheating in this game, you basically never stop. It's like... Oh, I already have a spooning pool. I don't need a spooning pool. Okay. Hmm. I didn't expect to have all these basic towers built already. That's the back corner of the map. Didn't technically need that there. But that's okay. Look, it's early in the morning when I'm recording this, so of course I'm a little, uh... little slurpy. But we'll get there. We'll get it figured out. We'll get it nailed down. We're just gonna go anti-air. Of course, we're going to need to have sensors up because I'm sure there's gonna be Dark Templar. You're gonna go into a Hydra Den. Yes. Hydra Den! And eventually we'll get the, the multiple Evo chambers up and everything, but for now, we're gonna rock it like a hurricane. Come on, need more wormies. There's one. Give me, give me that. Yes. The wormies. Rise! Okay. What else? What else went bro chikabiggy? I wonder how they made these noises. Ah, there we are. Um... I guess... I guess I don't really know what I want you to go after next. Speedlings! Yay! Okay, let's get those guys going. Um. Yeah, we'll go there. Hydra speed. Build, build, build. I like the trees. Just kind of like, nah, we don't care about your weird slime floor. It's fine. Don't worry about us. I would like it if the if it was like in uh, Command and Conquer and the trees were affected by the slime. You know, and slowly just died. Because that happened with the Tiberium in Command and Conquer. Come on, guys. If they could do it back then, why can't you do it now? Of course, this was, you know, back then. Look, let's not talk about it. It's just... It's just all except the fact that they were behind the times. Alright, so we need some protection over there. Protection here. We need some more detectors. But we have these little floaty farts, and they're good detectors, so I don't really need anti-air in the form of those towers too much. So we're just gonna throw that down. 
floaty fart's gonna go floaty over here. Queen's Nest will be done soon. Evolution will be done soon. What is this one? Zerg melee attacks. Good, good, good. They like melee attacks. Um, let's upgrade that next. Let's upgrade that. Let's spring for that. I never use queens, but I don't want to rule out getting their upgrades. You know what I mean? Okay, we got detectors pretty much everywhere we need them. And the hydrogen looks like a butthole. Can we talk about that for a minute? It's kind of gross. Grab that. Proc for that. Get some more body makers. Alright, you're gonna go there. You're gonna go up to y'all. Oh, you're gonna go there. Mm hmm. Yeah, that guy's not gonna have a good time. Oh, look at that little farty goo. Nah, he'll make it out. That's okay. It's okay, okay Babalu. Build me a macro hatch. Look right there. Right, you know what? You can chill there. Didn't I build... I thought I built something, but I don't know what it was. We got our Hydralisks fully evolved from the buildings that they have. Alright. We need an Ultralisk den. This is definitely going to be ultra territory. Those are fun. You you are not a frontline troop. Let me just go ahead and tell you that right now. You're not really ready for that kind of commitment in your life. Um, Ultralisk Cavern? I love that I have these guys, like, seriously working hard on getting some, uh, some minerals for me. And I'm like, eh, I don't really need the minerals. We're cheating. You don't really need minerals when you're cheating. Car. Okay. Just trying to get all the buildings we need now so I don't have to worry about needing them in the future. Sunken Colony. Let's have you go ahead and build me one of these guys. Back there. Let's have you bring some more units to the table. You know what to say, always be building. The Nidalist things are a real challenge for me. I'm not real sure how to use those properly. I guess we could just start putting some... Uh, There we go. Some units on the ground. Or some uh, anti-air on the ground. There's some Ultralisk love. Okay. Getting our attacks upgraded. Getting that upgraded. Get that upgraded. Get that upgraded. Get them bigger antenna so that they can see bigger. That's right, they're going to be able to see bigger. Imagine that. We don't even know what that means. How can we know? They're just seeing bigger. Ooh. There we go. So we're going to get some really powerful dutables. Sure, we'll... 
We'll just go ahead and evolve everything. Why not? And there's more wormies. So we're gonna start getting some anti-air up. Some more anti-air. We have to start getting some uh, more Uber Lords as well. Ooh, they angry. They real angry. Upgrade, Lord, please. Upgrade, please. We're Russian hives. All day long. Excuse you? If my Ultralisk could reach you, you'd be in trouble. Yeah, that guy's not gonna live. Hope you enjoyed what you observed, because that didn't work out for you. Flurp. And we'll just send you over here. Send you over here. Let's go ahead and just get as many of these as we can up and running. Because we need... We need them. Because we're going to start to just go crazy. Really, we're, we're almost done with upgrades. Neat. Um, yeah. Oh, well, I don't really want to send them all flying up there. So as you can see, we got ourselves a nice little uh, situation here. We're going to grab a, a troop of these guys and go out exploring, I think. Well, eventually. There we go. Yes, 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 yes. Power upgrades. Missile attack upgrades. Come on. Nearly there. Punch up! There we go. Missile attacks. There we go. Alright, lads. Move on over here. That way we can get, uh, let's get a greater spire up. We maybe, maybe should have gone for the extra evolution, but I don't know. Maybe the spire is a good choice. Because it does give us more tech, you know? And tech is important. I can't really kill that building. It's it lives there forever. Let's get Burrow up. Although I never properly use Burrow. Burrow's really useful, especially multiplayer. Um, you can use it for fun little annoying things like um, uh, blocking buildings so people can't build their buildings where they want them. So you just put it right where the uh, Command center and whatnot goes, and then they have to they have to do some killing before you're willing to do that. Also, this is a really pretty planet. I'm sorry we're gonna gonna ruin that for them. Whoop! Pull out. Well, we found one of their bases. Place for our ultras to go live. Really should have been doing this a lot sooner. 
getting some map awareness. Okay. Hmm. So they've got us bottled in. Not a fan of that. Ooh, that spire is angry now. We're just going to convert all of them. We're going to go ham here. Ham, I tell you. I like ham. Ham is tasty. Oh. Look, getting fully upgraded is really expensive, yeah? So you just, sometimes you get a spend. Okay. I don't know what that sound was. What the hell was that sound? I, I genuinely have no idea. What is the button for that M? It's S and M. Well, right now we're doing S and M. Ooh, didn't realize that was there. We'll make these guys real bangy. Oh, it was them. Okay. Well, let's just send you to work. These are little outposts. We should be able to just bang on them a little bit without too much danger to us. Should be mostly ground units. Yeah. Nice attack for us, buddy. Yeah, he'll be alright. Out of range and everything. Oh, get those guys. There we are. Ah, good tar target prioritization. I like it. Okay, let's see that one. We'll just keep stomping around out here until they turn us away. The more we clear out now, the less we have to clear out later. Unless, of course, they build it all back. Which they could. Um, they could also turn around and just bring in a bunch of aircraft, and that would just make these guys' day real bad. This is a very poorly defended base. This is a base I would build. Ah, uh, one cannon will be enough to hold off a horde. Ah, uh, one cannon's not enough. Buddy guy. Let's go supply block him if we can. I bet we can't supply block him though. Just keep it going. Evolutions are going. We get those missile upgrades up. Our forces are under attack. Uh, one. What are you doing? Don't get so far ahead. There you go. They drew us out because I wasn't paying attention. The ultimate flaw, I'm not paying attention to what your units are doing. You know, this is the base built by people who aren't very security conscious. Those poor guys. Just shit on from space. They can't even look up. I only have the neck bones for it. You gonna drop off a friend for me to shoot? No? Okay. Ooh, did you hear that? Oh, did you hear that again? They're real angry. Yeah, you know, these... These single player missions make you feel like you know what you're doing. But in truth, if you were to try to do this to a real person, your game would have been over a long time ago. 
I would have just whipped your ass and called it a day. Yeah. Not realistic at all. It gives you a whole false sense of superiority here. Because if they did try a base like this, or you tried an attack like this, they would have just destroyed you. And if they didn't, you weren't playing against Koreans. I mean, we really do need to secure the area because we are bringing out, um, we're bringing a drone to the party here. Yellow. So when are they gonna start getting some anti-air on the on the board here? Do they care? Get the sense that they may not care. Oh, there's some anti-air. Well, they aren't really uh, making an effort. There we go. We got some mobilization out of him there. Park, focus your tax. Come on. Another one down. Let's go back here and clean this base back up. Um, we'll get into that in a little bit. Oh, leave, leave him alone. Those poor little ground guys who can't look up don't need to be bothered by us right now. Oh, he came back. We'll send him on his way to Iyer. Oh wait, he's already here. Oh no. So, these little dudes have paid for themselves a hundred times over. Maybe 110 times over. Look at this. Oh, it popped up to get some energy and then it died. It's really too bad. Well, nice shot. So, yeah. Decimation? I'm gonna say decimation to the name of this game. Okay. So we'll just go along this path here and clear all this out. Well, we'll just. I guess we just keep doing this until they punish us. Oh, there's punishment. Run! That took them a while. Let's get over here and provide our friends some cover. Dang, those guys are tough. Let's get back to it. Well, we're not done. Are you kidding? Do you see how effective that was? I was going to keep doing it. We just had to bring in some friends. Let's see, you guys are two. He repelled the attack, and then the guy just came right back. It was unbelievable. What are we supposed to do? The world may never know the answer to slow uh, mutilation by somebody who cheats. Don't... Don't get too close. We don't want you attacking. 
Your sole purpose for existing is to protect these guys. Oh, you got a shot off. Nice. Oh, look, a fleet beacon. Well, you don't need that. You don't need it powered. No more shields. No more shields. No more fleet. Okay. So if we take down all their tech... Um, no, don't get pulled into a pissing contest. Don't you worry about them. They can take care of themselves. These guys, they may be able to look up. They can't look sharp. Um, actually, one, come back here because these guys will melt our guys. Oh, shit. They brought their air force. Those are bad. Fall back. Let's fight on our own terms here. Yes. There we go. Beautiful. Okay. Um, I think I made him angry. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I made him angry. Way. Well, here's the thing about that, Boutros Golly. You may be angry, but you ain't alive. That's right. I'm alive. And you know what I'm doing? I'm messing you up. <laughs> Alright, these guys are converting into guardians, which we are loading up on. We're just going to bowl through this base here. So we have to get to that crystal, which is a giant, giant bug crystal. To do that, we're going to have to wipe out this entire map's worth of population. You know what? I'm all right with that. Ooh, let's go ahead and kill that guy. Boop, boop, boop. We're back. I brought friends. Lots of friends. Yeah. It's it's not going to be real fun for you to be here. No, 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 no. You need to fall back. You guys die too easily. No, 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 no. Stop that. Let's draw this guy back, and then we'll just mess his day up. Thank you. They're starting to to respond. I don't like it when they respond. Hey. Well, I mean, if they're not gonna play patty cake with us, we're not gonna chase them around. That would just be dumb. Oh, we've done it now. He doesn't like us attacking that. So... That's gonna be an expensive loss for you. 
Those guys aren't cheap. They run away, and we come in, and we kill that guy. And the story repeats itself. In glorious for ire fashion. Their life friar. Well, yeah, exactly. That is precisely what they're doing. Oh, marching across the map. Oh, kill that one. Kill that guy before he gets away. Thank you. Power that down so we can't make any more little squiggly bits. Kill that guy so we can't just stand there and watch his friends die anymore. That's just really mean of us. We're going to power this down next. Hey now. No. No. There's no rebuilding. There's no rebuilding in baseball. How was that attack? Did that do well? We got some friends for here for them to attack. Just bring you guys back here. Let's make sure this dies so they can't put any more back. And the slow march to victory continues. As the weird alien forces march against the weather weird alien forces, we see that they fall quickly to the powers of the green balls of death flying from the other weird alien forces we were trapped. I don't know what trapped us. That's really annoying. Okay. The hell got us? Uh, no? No, you can't get that back. Stop that. Pretty sure I said no. Oh, that was cool. I like the way that guy dies. That sounds really neat. We are behind your lines. He's going to storm us. Watch it. Get him. Good, 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 good. We don't want High Templars because they can drop storms on our little grouped up units here and that would be bad for us. The storms are bad. These guys are not waterproof. Water will totally ruin their day. Okay. We just chuff chuff our way across the map. Alright. Yeah. That did alright. I see that. Can't do much about it. I don't have a detector with us, but that's okay. We don't really need a detector. Oh. Kill that guy. You go in there, you go in there. Let's keep our friends safe and our enemies dead, shall we? Yes, we shall. So we're just going to go through here and just wipe yellow off the map. And then we'll figure out how we're going to deal with red. See, these siege units are really dangerous for us. No, oh, I can't hit him. That sneaky little bastard hid behind the tower on that building. Making it impossible for me to click on him. Smart. Artosis Python. Or Python. Uh, well, no, maybe not. They're powered by other things. That was an Artosis Pylon. Words. 
Very difficult. I don't know why he didn't attack. Oh, good on ya. Yeah, almost good on you there. That was gonna depower that guy. Well, it looks like my tactic of just fly a whole bunch of giant tanks in is continuing to push me towards victory without a whole lot of effort. Who knew flying tanks would be so successful at decimating buildings? Huh. Go figure. You got something to drop off? No? I see all the observers just panic flying around. Just like, oh shit, what do I do? That one is getting ready to build some air, so let's just go ahead and play these guys in. And you can see how it's flashing. He's getting something ready. I wonder if I can get to the pylon before they get get it built, maybe. Come on, depower it. Oh, we did it. That's gotta be frustrating. If they were people. Can't have that one pylon just powering everything. That's just not smart. Yeah, you get those extractors. Most important part of their base. Good job, mutilists. Let's get this fleet beacon out of here. Alright, yellow's done. I and mean, then we'll finish the job, might as well. We've got got the people, got the talent. It would just be best if we didn't leave any doubt of whether Yellow's dead or not. Good lord, the mutos are so loud. The sh s subtle chuffing, I should say, of our little tanky units is real nice. Okay, well, let's just go back to our subtle chuffing now. I love the way those guys die. Go toss the zealot. If they were smart, they'd lead us into those pylons over there. But they're not. Good. This shouldn't work like this. <laughs> Just saying. This is going real well for our guys, but not so well for theirs. Ooh, that's a defensive ring. We might have a bit of an issue. Fall back. We got too close. Alright, commit it that way. There we go. At least I saw that one coming. Not enough time to actually stop it from hitting me, but enough time to do some damage to it at least. Or to mitigate the damage we do as or got done to us. Words. Who knew? Alright, are we good? We really should like send Zerglings out here to explore this. Instead of these slow ass mofos. But I think we're good. Okay. Let's send uh let's send those guys out. We're not gonna use them. At least I don't think we are. But we need to make sure we have something to protect ourselves.
they aren't attacking anymore. So I'm going to say that their bases are pretty much wiped out. But as you can see, there's one right there. They've got a lot of ground units marching. We'd rather they didn't. Storms! Storms! Oh, the storms! Oh. Look at the little bastard doing that. Well, if they had done that when the storms dropped, oh, that would be bad news, Barry. Well, we'll just kill it slower. Stop it. Stupid lockdown. So there is an orange guy. All right. So we do have we have stuff to worry about here. All right. Well, that's why we got that forward-looking guys. Oh, you son of a bitch. Well, we're locked down now. I guess we just always keep building. Yeah, we're fucked. Oh, good. Those guys are back. Let's get you back. Let's push you in a little bit. Let's go push his shit in some. The best he can do is delay with the stupid little ships with their prism attacks that take way too long to get clear of oh no alright leave us alone fall back Kill that fucker. The Arbiter. Oh, no. He's smart. He's bringing you into a bad place. He's smart. Unfortunately for him, he's not doing a lot of good. You guys? Get over here. Are under yes, they are. God damn, that's annoying. Our forces are under attack. So we're dealing with this guy right now. When I play them, the uh, Protoss, you you can bet your booty I'll be running a whole bunch of fleets. By the way, those are fun. Or not fleets, but the uh, starships. Woohoo! All right, so we're just going to have to go through here and do the same thing. This guy seems a lot less likely to to play with my uh my dudes here. He is much more aggressive than his other friends. You're now unit one. Fly over to there, please. You guys mutate. Alright. So we're just going to let them mutate. We're going to bring unit one in. Right over here. And we've re-upped. These guys are all messed up. 
Let's get over here. There's a whole nother base there. Alright, so we're going to go through here and down and around here and then up there and that should get us where we need to be. Just go ahead and take that out. First, we're going to hit him in the wallet. You hit him in the wallet, and they're really not going to have a good time. Whee! Joke? Nope. Can't let those guys hit us too much. If they want to leave, we'll let them leave just saves us the trouble of, of having to fight him. And... Volley. Good, 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 good. We'll just keep on destroying. I'm kind of surprised. I know I'm playing on, you know, baby mode, but I'm kind of surprised this one's been so easy to do with just one unit type. I mean, they have fleet beacons all over the place. You'd think that they would bring some more fleet in to actually help out, but no. Nope. They were definitely ready for a land attack, but their air preparations were just not on point. Then again, you know, super bay mood. Not actually having to attack a whole bunch. Or having to, to defend a whole bunch because the AI is just real dumb. As per my instructions. But I'm playing it for the story, not the strategy, because I'm real bad at strategy. But I like story. Kill him. Yeah, that poor little guy was on a suicide run. Come on, get in there. There we go. You saved that guy's life. You'd get accommodation. I love that guy's like, well, I gotta go back and build that thing. I'll be back, guys. I'm not coming back. It didn't work out. Alright, they're on it. I'm not real sure where they're coming from, actually. Continue our subtle march of destruction. Go for the power. They're gonna overwhelm us if they keep being able to build out like that. Let's go for the power. Just keep attacking their power structure and then we can't they can't build. See? Their buildings get unpowered and then they're no threat. That's the problem with pylon technology. You've got no backups. No internal power source. Yes, they are. But so are theirs. So, you know, that's a good thing, right? Oh, there's their fleet beacon. God, they have so many fleet beacons. What is this, me trying to get upgrades? Well, 
We continue our mighty march from coast to coast to defeat the weird blue aliens. Purple aliens are the superior aliens. As outlined in the Purple Aliens or Superior Aliens Manifesto of 1922. Not necessarily the smartest, because those guys are like, well, we're going to go get that one non-shooty guy. We're going to fly all the way around to get him. Ignoring all the enemies that can look up. In order to get the one that can't. No, 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 no. Oh shit, he can hit us, get him. These guys can't look up, but when they look down, the whole world weeps. Okay. Well, that should be most of his infrastructure. I mean, we're gonna, we're gonna look. But we should be looking pretty good. I don't really excel. Oh, never mind. He has a whole other base. Okay. Well, that makes some. That explains some things. You know. His space tank got my, or his plasma space tank got my flying tank. What are they doing, dropping these guys back here? That was just dumb. Alright, yeah, I mean, you can. I'm not going to stop you. Hell, I'm not even going to chase them down and kill them. Is that all you have left, or those guys? You poor bastard. I don't have units that actually, you know, sit on the ground. Excuse me, could you, uh, remove this, uh, pesky little feller from me? Thank you. Alright, we got we got way too close there guys. Can't keep doing that. We're just gonna ignore those guys get murdering the shit out of that guy. We don't wanna hear it. Unpowered? Unpowered. Beautiful sight. Oh, that got animated. Okay, they shouldn't have any more infrastructure that we have to worry about unless I find some. So let's let's go confirm that theory, shall we? Let's see what this guy has in the center bit. Probably a whole other base. Well, it looks like there's a, the makings for a base. Don't know if he actually has one. I'm not really sure how we're going to get into that crystal area. Oh. There's just there's a door on either side. Got it. Well, scorched earth seems to have been the appropriate response here. Ah. That would be a problem. Okay, you guys, just come over to here. You guys, just come over here. I need you to get in and go for a ride. There we go. There we go. Well, that wasn't so bad. We're going to get our, our buddy here all the crystal he needs. To 
just fly over here, please. Well, of course, we did not check up there, so what we could do is be like, why don't you guys go find out what's up in that corner? We won't go for total annihilation, but, you know, we're going to get close. The crystal is being harvested. Ten minutes until harvesting complete. Okay. Well. Didn't expect to have to sit here for ten minutes while we wait for uh, a little drone feller to, to harvest. Guess we could just like send you over here. So, what are you guys doing? Yeah, you having a good day? Having fun? Can these guys burrow? That would be hilarious if they could burrow. Can they just bring its, like, sword things across the screen? Yeah, he did. Look at that. These things look way badass in StarCraft 2. I love that his background is space. Alright. Their background is space too. I didn't notice that. That's yeah, cool. Let's go look at our other units. You. Seen you. Yours is a, a weird tunnel. You're just like real hot breathing. Everybody burrow. Just everybody get underground. Um, let's build some of these guys. I've never built those guys before. They're basically little kamikazes. They just run right into something. Into uh, aircraft. And uh, the aircraft dies. Woo, they're fast. Look at them go. Ew. Cool. Alright, well, you know, I kind of did the whole mission backwards. I guess I should have brought that guy in there and then defended it from the swarms of units that would come and kill me. I think that the smart way to program this would have been if there are no more Protoss bases left, you'd just go ahead and, and finish the, the mission instead of, uh, you know, tormentation. tormentation. Instead of tormenting us by making us sit here and wait. But maybe it's punishment. Punishment for doing it the way we did. Oh. They have a base. Never mind. Go find out where that little shit is that made that. Are there more bases that have popped back into existence because those little shits aren't dead? Maybe. These guys are fast. I like that. There are. Holy shit. Okay. Look at these guys go. All right, well, that's gone. All 
All right, no, don't let him run away. No more of this shit. I'm glad I went and looked around. All right, you little fly bastards. Let's go find out what else we missed. Don't think we got any more that have popped back up. We'll check. God, that guy had rebuilt fast. No, nope. looking pretty good. That'll depower those guys. Don't have to worry about them anymore. That sneaky little bastard thought he could just come back from the dead like that. No, sir. None of that. None of that on my watch. Alright. Now we just gotta make sure this doesn't happen again. Fooling me once. Fooling me twice. Stop trying to fool me, please. It's not very nice. Ooh, that's how that goes. Hey. You just stay there. He doesn't, he doesn't have the sack or the units to attack me while I harvest this, so I'm not too worried about that part. But, no. There are other things to be concerned with. Let's get my little scouts here flying around. Let's go ahead and close this off. No more entrance to here. Unopposed. Sneaky sneak. Alright, well that was interesting. I didn't expect that. I'm proud of the computer for surprising me. He got off a good one. He sure did. Mm, let's make sure none of them have recovered over here or anywhere else. Go over here. They build over here. So we'll divide and conquer here. Nothing there. Nothing there. Nothing there. Come on. Minute left. Any more excitement? It was a long ass episode. It's alright though. We're getting there. Oh look, they're they're having a little meeting. I think they might be doing something else. It looks like a humping motion in space. Space humping! Oh, I did have two for each one. No, I didn't. One of you has moved. Get back over there. There we go. There we go. Perfectly defended. Nothing in this map could ever attack us again. Look at that! Oh, Zergling. You get in there. And we're gonna be like, why don't you go over here and unload on that? Not you. You'll get up. Everybody! Wake up! Everybody! Wake up! Victory comes your way! More at 11!
Do do do. Come on home. We're just gonna pull back. Everybody just abandoned ship. We're going home. They're never gonna make it, of course, but that's all right. It's just fun to watch. Cerebrate. The Kateran crystals are in our possession. Now, all shall tremble before the might of the swarm. Oh, okay. Victory? Yeah, victory! We, we did it! We did it! I'm the best crystal ever! Let's go see if we get a cut screen. No. We don't. All right, well, that took forever. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like, if you have any comments, suggestions, some of the comments section below. And of course, if you enjoyed this and you haven't subscribed, consider clicking the good old subscribe button on YouTube, let you know how to get fresh content out. All that being said, I'll see you next time. <laughs>